pleased the Lord to crush him. To crush him. Imagine you're in a little village and you're just a, a quarter of an eighth of a mile away from a dam and you're at the very bottom of that dam on a river and the dam is a thousand miles high and a thousand miles wide and it's filled to the brim and one morning you wake up to a sound like the world cracking in two and you run to the window of your house and you see that the dam is broke and a wall of water higher than heaven is coming toward you your strength of stroke doesn't matter how fleet of foot you are does not avail you. You are going to die and no one will hear from that moment. Know your name. You will be gone. You will be removed from this earth. And before that mighty wave hits you, the ground opens up and drinks it down so that not one spot of water reaches your sock. So did Christ, our mighty champion, on Calvary, take our sin and bear the wrath of Almighty God. And I hear men say, this is cosmic child abuse. My heart, I don't know whether to cry or go to battle. It is the most precious truth to me because my sins are so high that only a work like that can save me. Once I was preaching at a secular university and as I was preaching on the atonement, this student stood up and he said, I got a question for you. I said, what? How can one man suffering for a few short hours on a cross save a multitude of men, a countless multitude, according to you, of men from eternal judgment? I said, son, you meant it for evil, but God will mean it for good. Thank you for that question. Now sit down. <laughs> you want to know how that one man dying alone for a few short hours on a tree can save a multitude of men from an eternity in hell because that one man is worth more than all of them put together. You take mountains and molehills, crickets and clowns. You take everything, every planet, every star, every form of beauty, everything that sings, everything that brings delight, and you put it all in the scale, and you put Christ on the other side, and He outweighs them all. He outweighs them all. Brethren, this is the one we chase after. Go to your studies. Go to your studies. Flee there, not to become smarter than the next man, but to behold his glory until it hurts you.